Welcome back. Foreign Affairs Minister Gibran Basile has praised the accomplishments of the Lebanese diaspora during the Lebanese Diaspora Energy Conference 2015. The conference aimed at further strengthening the bonds between Lebanese residents and emigrants worldwide. The Foreign Ministry says the purpose was to showcase the successes of Lebanese expats while celebrating the Lebanese heritage and promoting a positive image of Lebanon around the world. The event, which took place at the Hilton Habtour Grand Hotel, brought together more than 1,100 Lebanese expats from 73 countries, including Lebanese officials and foreign ambassadors. Prominent foreign politicians of Lebanese origin were present, including the Honorable Steve Brax, the former Prime Minister of Victoria, Australia, and Fernando Capaz, the Parliament Speaker of Sao Paulo in Brazil. Successful businessmen of Lebanese origin also attended, including a delegation of the Australia-Lebanon Chamber of Commerce and Industry, headed by Chamber President Mr. Fadi Zuki, OAM. Here are a few reactions. How important is this conference for the Lebanese diaspora and the Lebanese here? Well, I believe that, uh, of course, Lebanon needs its diaspora, and the diaspora needs Lebanon. And so it's always important to develop uh, all kinds of programs, and really, and when the central state is uh, stronger, uh, then we can better develop these programs. And, uh, and on, 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 a, on a more, more than, uh, than subject, I mean, uh, of course, on uh, the, the diplomacy and on uh, economic relations and also on cultural relations and also on uh, touristic programs, uh, as uh, I think when the touristic programs are better structured, we can uh, uh, create a sustainable tourism around the diaspora. And in this session, we will be announcing the establishment of a Lebanese school abroad, the Lebanese diaspora school. Uh, there are a lot of Lebanese that are experts. They have degrees, they're qualified, they're educational. Uh, they, they serve educational institutions. And they are uh, giving a lot to the world. I think using them in Lebanon, asking for their help, uh, for their guidance, uh, use them as uh, advisors, all that will help us to put a plan in Lebanon to try and work uh, a roadmap at least to where we want to head with education. We usually, everybody in the world, they go looking for experts. We do have them in Lebanon. They are all over the world. We are you know, hoping that during this conference we will meet a lot of them and we will continue to work with them for the future. There's many, many people in Australia of Lebanese descent, you know, uh, almost half a million people in a, in a country of 21 million people. And so it's renewed all the time in Australia and coming here sort of uh, brings it home to me more significantly. And um, it also brings home what Lebanese have done around the world. Australia is one, one of the places we've done well, but in a range of places as well. Do you hope to make any difference in this country? Uh, I hope that we can enhance investment and trade. It used to be the case, of course, that um, Lebanon and Beirut was the hub for trade in this region. You'd love to see it happening again. That has moved on to other countries, the, the Gulf states and others. Uh, but nevertheless, there is a, an opportunity, I think, uh, to look at uh, inbound and outbound uh, trade, um, uh, tourism more broadly, of course. Family reunion is still a big thing from Australia here into Lebanon. So there is opportunities for that. And there's some companies who are doing well um, in their trade and uh, investment here in Lebanon. So you know, we'd like to enhance that even further in the future. Last question. Do you feel at home here? I do, in a way, yes. I do feel at home. Um, I, certainly my home is Australia. You couldn't imagine it would be otherwise, but I guess it's my second home, which is great. It's, it's been excellent. I mean, the speakers have been fantastic. Uh, all, all the speakers have spoken about their love for Lebanon and also started putting forward ideas of how to make the link stronger between the countries because at the end of the day that benefits everyone. Is it going to have a positive impact on the country and bring perhaps more, more of the diaspora community members back to the... I, I, think, uh, I think it will because what's, what's happened with Lebanon is we have a huge diaspora but they've all been fairly passive about investing in Lebanon. So what, what needs to happen is to make them active participants in the economy. And the way of doing that is by having conferences like this, showing the benefits, what Lebanon has to offer, and also trying to um, ensure those things become stronger so that you can get people here, but also trade going the other way as well, because that's at the end of the day, you want investment and you want trade. I'd like to say, first of all, congratulations to two successful Lebanese expats in Australia. How do you feel? I feel great, always. Uh, it's nice to be recognized for whatever work, but uh, especially when it uh, comes 
to doing work for the mother country to Lebanon. Uh, this is congratulations to all the Lebanese in Australia because I, I'm only probably one of many and they all deserve the credit and the reward for all the hard work and all the contributions to Lebanon. What does it represent to you to win this and this award and to be here tonight? First and foremost, hearing people talking on stage, uh, it's very emotional because they're really talking about us because we had the same plight, the same stories, and the same suffering and the same success. So it was a bittersweet a journey for all of us. And I can honestly reflect it in my life and every person who actually migrated from Lebanon, who left this country not by choice, okay? And that's very important for people to know they left because they had to get chased their dreams, but more than that, also to get what the Lebanon couldn't offer them abroad. And so, it is very emotional, definitely very emotional. Are you going to be here next year for the event next year? Let's hope, we have to be here. I mean, I enjoy it thoroughly, I will be back, but I also like to give space for other people as well to enjoy it too. I feel energized. I think that's the, um, the whole topic of this, of this conference. And I think, feel a sense of pride and a sense of belonging, a sense of ownership. And I must say, um, I think the best is yet to come. What do you hope for Lebanon? I hope that everything that the Lebanese people are, that they can start loving themselves again, of who they are, and just their qualities that are so rare and so unbelievable, and I think they've lost that. So I would like them to firstly fall in love with themselves, and then to fall in love with each other and stop looking at the differences that divide people but at what unites all of them. And, and that's really my heart for, for the Lebanese people and for all of us as a nation. What would it mean to you to hold a Lebanese passport in your hands? Well, the big thing is it's, it's a generational thing. I, you know, how do I t tell my children and my generations that I'm Lebanese if my own country doesn't honor me? So it's a sense of handing over the baton and saying, now I can really say I'm Lebanese and I can really sell the Lebanese diaspora and um, principle to all my generations to come. How do you feel to be back here for this event? It was a great emotion because it's my first time in Lebanon, the land of my grandfather, and I was impressed with the multicultural society that I found here. Um, I admire Lebanon and the Lebanese people, and I, I want to help. What I can do, I'll do it. What would you do to help? I want to gather all the best Lebanese heads in Brazil and try to work together looking for uh, Lebanon. Trying to come here to make some kind of interrelation between Brazil and Lebanon. I think the best fortune of the Lebanese, the Lebanese are the Lebanese people. Do you feel more Lebanese or more Brazilian? Well, I'm, I'm Brazilian since I was born, but the Lebanon is inside us. It's in our heart and it, it never left.